Good afternoon and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Alana and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today is Alana's ability to understand and respond to her obedience commands, the corrections and motivations we give her while we are working with her, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he's going to keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and let go to the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Alana has been fitted with her own personal training collar and we will show you how to properly use this during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. As you can see, Alana is seated nicely on Fred's left, which is where all our obedience training is done. The first command they're going to demonstrate is healing, which is proper walking on a leash. Fred and Alana take off doing that now. And the command you want to use for this is Alana heal, and then you just start walking and she'll fall right in line on your left hand side. Now we've also gone ahead and incorporated our automatic sit into this. So anytime Fred stops his feet, Alana will sit. There's that automatic sit. It's important when you're healing Alana that she walks at your pace on your left hand side as she's been trained to do. She shouldn't try to pull ahead or lag behind. If she did attempt to pull ahead or lag behind, you say no, give a tug and let go correction, repeat your command to heal, and start walking again. Next they're going to be demonstrating our stay command, which is a hand and voice command. Fred will use the open flat of his left palm an inch or so from Alana's muzzle and the one word command to stay. He then walks out to the end of the training leash. It's a great exercise to build up self-control and maturity in Alana. You want to start practicing this one at about a minute and work your way up in increments to about three minutes. Now when Fred returns back to her, he's going to walk all the way around her, providing an added distraction as he goes behind her, and right back to that left hand side heel position. She holds her sit-stay throughout, he gives her a little praise, and heels her right out of it. I'm going to show you a little more of the heel sit and stay. There's that automatic sit. It. He gives her the stay again, back out to the end of that training leash. And this time, instead of returning back, he demonstrates the comma recall command. Calls her to him using her name. She comes and sits in front. Then we have an exercise called the finish. Fred's going to heal her right around the back of him and right back to his left hand side heel position and she sits. He'll demonstrate this one more time. He has her in the sit. He gave her a stay out to the end of the training leash. In the recall, he calls her into him using her name. She's going to come and sit in front. And then our finish, he's going to heal her right around the back of him and get her right back to his left hand side heel position and she sits next. It's a good time to remind you you want to practice all your commands with Alana about 15 to 20 minutes a day. You can practice inside or outside your home and just incorporate the commands into your daily routine with her. Next we're going to be showing you our down commands. The first is down from a heel position. Fred's going to use the open flat of his left palm straight down to the ground and the one word firm command to down. He then gives her a stay and walks out to the end of the training leash. It's another great exercise to build up self-control and maturity in Alana. You want to start practicing this one at about three minutes and work your way up to about five. As he returns back to her, he's going to walk all the way around again, just as he did on the sit stay, to get right back to that left hand side heel position. She holds her down stay throughout, and he heals her right out of it. 
And you see Alana's doing very well, but if for any reason she doesn't respond to one of your commands, it's always important to follow through. So the first word out of your mouth would always be no, followed by a tug and let go correction, and then you would repeat the command you'd given her. And you see, he's going to show you the down again. He gave her a down and a stay. Back out to the end of that training leash. And this time he'll demonstrate that recall command right out of the down position, calls her in, she comes and sits right in front of him, and then the finish, he heals her right around the back of him, and right back to his left hand side heel position, and she sits nicely. We'll give them a second to get lined up for our down from a distance command. This will be the down from a distance. He has her in a sit, he gives her a stay, walks out to the end of that training leash. Now this will be the only time you use your right hand to give the command, and Fred will drop her into a down from the end of the training leash. No. She didn't go the first time, so he used the word no first, and then he repeated his command. And then he returns back to her by walking all the way around and right back to that left hand side heel position. He's going to heal her right out of that. Now those are our basic obedience commands that we've worked on with Alana here at school. We've also started to, to slightly work um, a little advanced work with her. We don't obviously intend for you to do this the minute she comes home. We want you to practice 15 to 20 minutes a day with her on leash, but we just wanted to show you what you can build up to with her as long as you put in that 15 to 20 minutes a day. So he gave her a stay. Dropped the leash, he's walked away, did a lap around the building, comes back to her, gives her a down, still completely off leash, gave her a stay, walks away again. So again, as I said, this is stuff you can build up to with her, as long as you put in the time with her. And he's going to walk all the way around and come right back to that left hand side heel position. Very nice. And he heals her out of it. Alright, we've demonstrated for you the basic obedience work we've done with Alana while she's been here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Alana, and we thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.